Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I have been a little quiet recently because I have just moved houses and I figured this would be the perfect opportunity to show you an updated tour of my hamster cages now that they are permanently settled. So here we go. I ended up moving them in two separate trips. So the first one to move into his cage in the new flat was Bilo, who is the most tame of the two hamsters I own. He is a very chill guy. We moved him in the middle of the night, so I do apologize for the lighting and the reflection in that glass. But as you can see, he actually was quite curious. He usually kind of hides straight away, but he is very happy with his new cage. Now the cage you see in this video is an IKEA compliment cage. I've made a tutorial for this cage and I will link it somewhere in this video and then also in the description box if you're curious. It is my all-time favorite cage. I absolutely love it. He loves it and he rediscovered his favorite little cork log that I got from Zoo Plus. He absolutely loves it. Um, he always peeks up at the top of it. Now I'm not completely done organizing these cages so you'll see in the videos they're not fully finished. Um, as I said, I've just moved in, so the first room I got sorted out was the room for the hamsters. I am lucky enough that I got a spare room to dedicate to the hamsters and also have a little art desk corner type of situation, so I have a little spare room just for myself and the hamsters. And I will be adding things to the cage over time, so if you have any ideas of what to add, I will make the sand bath a bit bigger um, and add more bedding over time but for now this I mean this happened in the middle of the night guys I actually filmed this in the middle of the night when he discovered this cage and he quickly started burrowing he was so happy he's created a network of tunnels and I didn't see him for two days after that <laughs> he just did not come out of the cage but it was just quite nice to see like he's obviously very settled um I was a bit more nervous about Coco the other hamster which you'll see in a little bit but Bilo is nice and settled and let's move on to the next hamster. And now we have Coco who moved in a day and a half later early in the morning. Now he is the crackhead of the family. No offense, he has very strong middle child vibes, but I absolutely love him. Coco is this hamster I rescued a couple of months back and he is obviously way more energetic than Bilo. He is a lot of fun. He's usually awake quite early in the day, so I get to see him a lot more than Bilo, but he is just a very fun hamster and he's so excited about this cage because he actually chewed his way of the out of the previous cage I built him, which is if you're curious, this is the Plaza cage. I've also filmed a tutorial for it, which I will also link down below if you're interested. Uh, it's a very cheap and practical and easy to assemble cage and I loved it. But now that I moved, I was able to build him a cage that was pretty much twice the size of the previous one. So I just bought the Plaza frame that was just a size above. So now he has a lot of space. He's very happy with it. However, Coco is one of those hamsters. Like, I could give him an entire bedroom to himself and he would still try to run away like it's just there's no pleasing this hamster but i do believe he's quite happy in this one he has also created a little system of tunnels and i will add more bedding over time as well and the sand bath is a little small for now but again i uh this is not the final cage i just wanted to do a quick tour for those who were curious in my previous videos I just wanted to show you what was up and how they're living so he didn't take very long to start digging <laughs> you can see his little nose peeking out the window um but he is very happy so this is coco's cage and if you're wondering why i'm only showing you footage of them discovering their cage and not the actual cage uh, i will <laughs> i will show you this right now so uh, after a few days, I added a couple of things to their cages, but this is the room I have for the hamsters. You can see my desk, that's where I draw. But this is Coco's cage. So this is the Plaza Range cage. And also I've put this on top of a Plaza drawer unit. I'm not even sure what it's called. I'll try and link it down below, but it's from the same range. So it's a perfect match on the size. And it's just quite practical. I like, I didn't want the cage to be on the floor. So this is what the cage looks like. I've added a couple of flowers, dried flowers, and a little 
spray here and there um, just to make it a bit nicer. I have put the bowl of water in the corner because he consistently dive bombs into it. I don't know what he does in the middle of the night, but I have to change it every single morning because it is full of bedding. I'm not sure what he's up to. I should probably put cameras in the middle of the night just to see what's going on. What's great about these is that you can just put the hamster stuff in the drawers if you choose to. I put my art stuff in there just because I have a separate a dresser for the hamster stuff but it is quite practical to put it in those drawers and I think it looks quite nice as a unit I think it just looks very complete and the complement cage for below is the same as in my previous flat which is on top of this desk I also bought from Ikea now I do apologize for the reflection I filmed this during the daytime and I didn't realize until editing that it was going to be so reflective. So <laughs> this is what Bilo's cage looks like inside. Now both layouts are very similar. I wasn't feeling super inspired. In the middle of moving, I had other things to worry about. So I did a similar pattern for both, which is a lot of bedding on the left side. They both have a big cork log that they love to hide in. And on the right side of the cage is the wheel and the sand bath and the water. If you don't see a food bowl, it's because I sprinkle it throughout the entire cage so that they can kind of go and forage for it and make them work a little bit harder. And if you're wondering why this footage looks exactly like the one before, it's because this is Coco's cage and that's just how similar the cages are in terms of layout. But I'm quite happy with them and the hamsters are definitely happy with them. So this is what the cages look like for now. I'm definitely going to improve them over time, but I am very happy with it. And if you have any suggestions or ideas or things I can add, please comment down below. I will be adding bedding over time, especially in the plaza, but I do have a current issue, which is the acrylic is running away from the bottom of the cage. So it, it has detached itself, which means some of the bedding is going through. So I need to find a way to reattach it and reinforce it because it is not really holding together, which is a bit frustrating, but I'll figure something out. And I will probably pin a comment for those who are experiencing something similar. This is just something that happens when you have a cage that big with that much bedding in it because it's 120 centimeters wide. So that's just part of the deal. But that's it for the tour, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.